Hey everyone, it's Randy. Um, so I thought I would do a quick video because um, anybody that's watched my videos know that um, usually in my monthly updates I talk about what I got from Moe's sales for that month. Um, and um, Moe's running a contest on her um, Facebook page for the most creative video featuring her products. Now, I'm, I'm not very creative. I don't know a creative way to show her products, but I can say that I love her products and I buy from her about every month. Um, I usually just buy her cottons even though I do have some of her silks and I did for the first time last month take advantage of a sale she was having and buy two pieces of fabric from her. Um, so what I thought I'd do in this video um, to kind of promote her, put her out there because I do love her, um, her products, um, is just kind of review what I've bought from her over, I think I've been buying her since last August, uh, and show two projects that I've actually used her threads in, which I love. So uh, I'm going to get started with that. Now, hopefully this will come out good because this is the first time I've filmed on my iPad. Um, so hopefully this will work. So if it's a little shaky, I apologize in advance. Um, so I'm going to start with the fabric that I bought. And now if you guys have watched my videos, you've probably seen most of this stuff, but it doesn't hurt to show it again because it is uh, beautiful, beautiful stuff that I got from her. So I don't mind sharing it again. So this is a piece of um, Monaco 28 count. She doesn't name her um, fabric. It's just called AB13, um, as you can see right there. Um, and I love Monaco. Um, I think I said this in my last video. Um, I like that it's heavy. Um, it just feels more durable to me, and I feel like I'm not uh, abusing it <laughs> when I stitch with it. Um, so yeah, so this is um, 28 count Monaco, as you can see. It's kind of a blue and white, almost like a sky. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show it with holding it like this, but you can see here, kind of. So it's just really, really pretty. Can't wait to find something to stitch with that. Uh, the other piece I bought from her was at 18 count. It's kind of like a purple, purpley, white. It's got like white. It's kind of mottled. It's really pretty too, as you guys can see. All right, so that's my fabric from her. Um, oh, I didn't want to. Well, I'll show you the silks after. Um, this is a project that I did. Um, oops, sorry. <laughs> I put my finger in front of the, the lens. Um... This is not all Moe's. The I did um, this silk is Mo right here. The rest of it is DMC, um, but this is Mo, um, a silk of hers. I don't remember what it's called to be honest. Um, I didn't look it up, but you can see it's here, here. My hand looks really big. <laughs> um, over here too, you can see. So I I really I, this is the first time I'd stitched with silk. I've only stitched with Mo silk. Um, and it was very easy to work with, so I was very happy with that. So that's my Jigsaw Elephant, and that's from um, KLT Charting, just so that in case you're wondering where I got the um, patent from. And this is 28 count um, Charles, Charles Craft uh, Monaco, I believe it is. And it was the first time I ever stitched on 28 count, so that's that. And then my butterflies, which everybody's probably seen that's watched my videos. I'll zoom in. It's still not done. I know, I'm bad. But this here, this is Rapunzel from um, Moe's Cotton uh, Princess Collection. This is Aurora, the pink. The gray is called Utah. This one is Snow White, which I just love the way that this, the variegation in this. I just love it. And then this one here is Maleficent from her Villain series. Again, really pretty too and I'm almost done I know I'm so bad I just gotta finish this one this was um, also a Kel uh, KLT chatting stitch along um, I only stitched like three and three quarters of a butterflies there's 12 in the series and my plan is to do them all in Moe's um, cottons like this one was all princesses this one I was going to do all villains um, and then I hadn't decided on the other ones so so hopefully I'll get back to this. Looking at it makes me want to stitch on it. So um, we'll see how how that goes. So those are the two things that I've stitched with most products so far. Um, these are my silks. And I used Denise's twiddle uh, video to help me um, twist my, uh, my silks here. So you can see they're 
Oh, actually, you can't see. Hold on. Sorry, I should have done this in advance, but I didn't think of it. So those are my silks from Moe's. Uh, a lot of these are from the Hunger Games ones, like this one here is the capital. Oops. There we go. Sorry, it's moving. That's the uh, the capital. This one here, um, this is PETA. Uh, Golden Sun. I don't think that's part of the um, Hunger Games. It's grassy, the green one. The, this blue one, which is so pretty, is Katniss. How pretty is that? Uh, Seneca. Uh, can't read upside down. This is Lady Mary. Uh, Rue. Lady Mary is not from Hunger Games, but Rue is. Um, this is this green is Leek. Uh, this is Pumpkin. That's not from Hunger Games, obviously. Girl on Fire. That one is though. This red. Uh, Claudius. Uh, Caesar. And Tribute. So those are all part of the Hunger Games series. I like the iPad. The colors show up. So how pretty are all those? <laughs> It shows up really pretty. So those are my silks that I've gotten from Mo so far. And I did see her, um, she put out some new silks last week that I didn't buy. Um, that I really want to, but I got, I did order some cottons from her today. So I'll have those next time. Um, these are two more that were kind of over to the side. Pretty. I like this black and white one. So those are my silks. Then I have my cottons. I bobbinated all of these because I had them in a box and I said this and I think I said this also in a previous video. I had them in a box and I just I couldn't really see them. They, they you know they weren't I couldn't really show them off so I bobbinated all of them and this is what they look like. So I have my um, my villain series these are um, these are just some redies. Um, I have the uh, what do I have? That's a redie. Some print the princess 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 and princes over here the princes. Um, like I said, some villains. Um, this was her bird um, series that she did, uh, and you can just see them. Oops, sorry, I keep putting my finger in front of the thing. So, um, just what I love about Mo, most um, sales and Mo herself is that um, she, her products are great. They're reasonably priced. She ships super fast. Um, you always have your stuff within a week. And um, any questions you have, she's right there to answer. Um, and she's just been a pleasure to deal with and all the dealings I've had with her over the last um, few months. So I can't say enough nice things about Mo. And I hope everyone liked this video. And I hope you um, go ahead and if you haven't bought from Mo already that you are. And if you're thinking about trying variegated thread or hand dyed fabric or silks that you give her a chance. Um, I will link down below her website and her Facebook group if you're interested. And... Yeah, so I hope that everyone enjoyed this, and I hope that um, you'll check out Mo's uh, website. So I'll be back next week probably with my whip update, um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!